turn on the character. <laughs> hey, it's me. Hello. That's crazy. I'm not recording. That's crazy. It's fucking crazy, man. Not even recording the audio. That's crazy. Anyway, how you doing? I'm here. You had to turn the character on. Oh, my God. It's me again. Oh, my God. I have to do something different because there's a... I don't hear myself. Is it off? Is it on? I mean, I'm in there. Um, there is another The Unemployed podcast out there, bro. And they're on... They're on like their third episode. And they have more views than me. What the fuck? What what's in what world did I put in way more work than them? And they get more mu- views than me. And they don't have this pristine setup like I do. It's worse. So what am I doing wrong? And the kicker is, they're fucking British. They're British. They're already killing me. (coughs) I'm dying, excuse me. (coughs) They're British, which is the kicker. So they're already, in the accent department, they already have me, they already have me beat. The only thing I can do is just be as where I am as possible. I have to be as New York as possible in order to to beat them at their own game. What should I do to be more New York? Should I do something to be more New York? I'll, I'll do that dance that the kids are doing nowadays. What's the dance? What's, is there a name to that dance? Is, is it just the drill dance? That drill dance thing? I'll do it to my theme song. There you go. I have a drill theme song. I'll do it to that. It is very, it is, it is very lackluster in the, in the oomph department. But, you know, it's, it's close enough. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to just be as New York as possible and see if that works. Let's do it. on beat I couldn't hear it at all I should have played it through the computer I guess it would have picked it up but yeah hopefully that works so I'm as uh as um New York as possible to beat them at their own British game it's hard to beat British people huh isn't it isn't it just so hard to beat British people they just have the best accents (sighs) wow that took a lot out of me they just have the best accents. They have the, they live the best lives. Maybe I don't know. I'm not. I'm looking from the outside in, so it just sounds like, it sounds like they live the best lives, you know. But uh, I gotta catch my breath. What the fuck? What what the kids even do, bro? I need to look at some tutorial videos on that, cause it's absolutely abysmal. That I have to, that that people are doing this, you know? Kids are doing these dances nowadays and shit and like, there's too many dances. Everybody wants to be a dancer now. Enough dancing. We're tired of the dances, okay? Stop the damn dancing. From the boombox. Stop the boombox. The boondocks. Stop all that damn dancing. And they... (laughs) 
the R. Kelly courtroom. Bro, are they still on? Is Boondocks still on? That's a great show. Boondocks. Cancel? Let's see, because Granddad died. Dang. Is it because he died? Had a heart attack in 2019. Damn it, bro. Damn, RIP Uncle... Not Uncle Ruckus. Uncle Ruckus is still alive. He needs to die, honestly. Uh, has apparently been canceled at HBO. Damn, bro. They can't find another Boondocks? I mean, you know, respect his legacy, but... Come on, find another granddad, man. Just for the last season. This could be the last season. This one could be the last season, and then we'll be done with it. Arguably, so there's season four. Why is the Boondocks ser season four hated? People hated it? The plots are really, really boring and just outright bland. Like, like them getting into slavery and being hu in huge debt, not funny. In the slightest. Speaking of plots and Robert, speaking of plots and Robert Freeman's adventures, they just couldn't resist bringing back stink meaner facts, who was already killed twice. Yeah, why? Uh, okay, I, I don't remember season four, but I mean, how how long can you go with these shows? There's a, there's a point where it's like stop remaking it. Fucking. This just brought the news story in my mind, bro. How they said, we're not ready to stop John Wick yet. All this shit started because they killed his dog. Now there's a, a plethora of seasons. about. There's a plethora. Now, now I, don't, I didn't see two. So maybe two is disconnected from one. But John Wick 1 was a good movie, right? It was a great movie, right? A lot of killing, a lot of shooting. You know, that refreshing shit. Like that uh, Guy Ritchie movie I saw. Real refreshing. Just a guy being a guy, you know, walking around, shoot you in the face, move on with his life, you know? But um, I think we're done, right? Aren't we done with him? Ke Keanu. Keanu's trying to make this like the fucking Matrix, bro. Matrix only had three, but this is about to be like Rocky, bro. They can't, they can't stop, bro. Rocky and Rambo. Yo, Sylvester Stallone makes too many of sequels of the same movie, okay? Enough. Enough, bro. Rocky, I don't think there's any movie where they're up to eight. Yet, yet at least yet, with the John Wick series, it's going to be up to eight. But uh, Sylvester Stallone, it, there's eight Rockies. And then Rocky, is that including Rocky Balboa? So there's eight Rockies. Now Creed. Please don't do it with Creed. Please. Creed 3, you know? That's great. You know, black excellence and everything. But stop. Stop. I don't want to see... I don't want to see fucking ripped fucking Michael B. Jordan in another boxing movie. How many premises are there, man? You know what I should do? I should just watch all of the Rockies. Just just for sh shits and giggles, bro. And just see where it divulged into like, oh, this is a cash grab now. Were they that popular? And who was sitting in the... Whatever. Whatever. Enough, enough of that, bro. But enough John Wicks. We already had it with Rocky. Enough Creeds. Please don't restart Creed. We're done with that. We're not doing any more of those. They should have me on a fucking... They should have me on... Uh, this should be this should be legislation on this man. They should you should be heavily fined. This is this is this is um encroaching on socialist territory, really. But you should be you should be heavily fined for uh Yeah, you should be heavily fined for uh redoing sequel, redoing a movie. So it should be like, "Oh, Oh, uh, that movie was successful. Let's see if we can do it better. And they'll be like, eh, eh, eh. you got to sign this paperwork. And you got to pay us a, a slight fee in order to do this sequel. And then if the sequel bombs, you, uh, you just, you get, you get fined even more. 
we told you, man. We told you this. This actually the the legislation is a deterrent for making sequels to keep ideas fresh. So stop doing it. Avatar: Way of Water. Haven't seen it, but it better be good. It better be good. The first one was great, right? It was a great movie. Blue Monkey people, as one uh, as one once said, the Blue Monkey movie. Blue monkeys, bro. That's so fucked up. A blue, you, the blue monkeys. But we're done with that, bro. We're done with sequels. Put me on legislation. I will stop this sequel game. We will get new movies all the time, including Netflix, bro. How many kissing booths do you need? Enough. We're done with all that. Yeah, but there's another podcast called the Unemployed Podcast, which means my name is way too basic. I need to, I'm going to be thinking of names. Yeah, I'm going to write down some names and uh, see what, see what I can come up with. It needs to be different enough for me to like be set out from the crowd, but memorable enough for me, for people to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to watch you know what the thing is? You could say it without the and podcast. If you could say it without the and podcast, you got yourself a hit. You got a fucking hit. That's the thing. So I need to think of a, a name that that is different enough to set myself out from the crowd. And um what am I saying? And uh, just, you know, just something that can be said without podcast, you know, the unemployed podcast, you know, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? It's your boy, Albert. And this is Donnie over here. That's my British accent. This is Donnie. Hey, Donnie, what you done in your life lately? You know, Fucking whatever, you know. Just <laughs> golly gee. Oh, and that. God, I'm tired. And that. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's basically what it sounds like. It's not as entertaining as this one, whatever. You know? So listen to this one. I have 87 episodes now. Come on, bro. I've been putting in work, bro. They're on episode like three. And they, they they sit across from each other with mics. The mics that be, the mics that be like this. Fuck those mics, bro. I got the mics where you got talking to the top. That's I have the cool mic. I have cool mics. And then they just look at their computer and talk about, hey, what's your day like? What's your day seem like? Listen to this one, bro. Where I do, where I impersonate them on my podcast called the same thing. <laughs> so yeah man fuck them but they're probably great people but fuck them I do be- I'm do. i a better podcast um I guess I guess I'll move on speaking of movies I saw this movie this movie it looked college made I don't remember the name I gotta google it I don't remember the name. What's the name of it? It's got the speed racer guys in it. And it's about this white room. The Immaculate Room. That's the name of it. The Immaculate Room. So the premise is you go into this room and you uh, stay in the room for 50 days, which is fucking bonkers, bro. 50 days in a room is crazy. Almost two months. Why didn't they just make it two months? Could have just been two months. Anyway. Anyway, hold on. I just want to see if my co-host is coming for another podcast. Anyway, go go listen to the uh, the Kitchen Chronicles. I need some water. Go listen to the Kitchen Chronicles, man. That's another podcast I'm on. It's not even, they claim it's my, it's our podcast, but 
I'm just the gear, okay? I'm the I'm the mics, I'm the comedic effect, you know? This that's your podcast. But it's a great time and you know, it's good to have co-hosts. What I've been complaining about on this one that I want is a co-host. But also I'd be I'd be grinding on my own. Do I need a co-host? Do I really need a co-host, bro? I'd be grinding on my own. I'm about to turn this bitch into a podcast studio. The guy I had on last week, they're such pleasant people, man. That's the best thing. When you have like such pleasant people, you bring them into your home, your humble abode, and life's just good, man. You just have have a good, good Christian, wholesome couple in your house just talking about wholesome things. Did we talk about anything? Were we wholesome on that episode? I don't think so. Maybe not. Um, but, you know, man, just just all love, man. It's just all love. It's just all love, bro. Anyway, um, yeah, man, but uh, the Immaculate Room, so you stay in a room for 50, 50 days and you get 50 million, right? And, you know, you, you know, obviously it doesn't, uh, and obviously it doesn't uh, stay that way, you know, it's it wouldn't be a movie if they were like, oh, well, we're getting the. I guess we're getting the five million. You know, it's never, it's never, it never works out that way. So, uh, yeah. But, oh, my face. But, um, it's kind of, it's kind of a college made movie. It wasn't even college made, it was just a lot of small studios invested into it. And it was actually a pretty good movie. It got a 5.6. And I'm I'm a avid like I'm a avid oh what did the people what did the people wearing suits review it as you know and I'm in my head I'm thinking oh that that means that that means that it's a good movie right if the the people in suits and the high, the higher ups think it's a great movie so I should think it's a great movie right that's not a good way to think you know but hey man that's not a good way to think but but I um. I thoroughly, I'm, I'm rethinking, like, listening to the, to, you know, the IMDB score or the, uh, what's his name score? L any of this, these movies, the Rotten Tomatoes score. Rotten Tomatoes has been, been tainted, right? Rotten Tomatoes is already tainted, right? Because, you know, how they were, like, conflating, like, like audi the audience score and the Rotten Tomatoes score is, like, two different things. It's, like... Like, are you even, are you even, like, it seems like you have, you have some, some financial gain in this, so why would I listen to you, you know, but at least they have the audience score, which is good, which is good to, you know, to show the truth, but, um, but yeah, man, the Immaculate Room. Go check it out. And there's another one. There's another. Is this like a whole genre? The stuck, the stuck in the uh, stuck in some room, stuck in some room type content movie things. Is that is that a thing now? Oh, I'm I'm we're stuck in a room. I'm stuck in a room with my significant other. The, there's another one with the the so the social network guy is in it. And he's trapped in a room with his significant other, too. But that one seems way crazier. I got to watch that one next. That one seems way crazy. And I got it just as a bad score. Watch it be fire. I'm done with these. I'm done with these these white men in suits or whoever the fuck in the higher ups in suits deeming these movies good or bad, you know? Because... I'll, I'll probably be missing out on some good movies. A lot of, a lot of eights, a lot of eights are so like a lot of eight movies are so fucking boring, bro. They might be great movies, but they're so boring. What's his name got an eight? Nathan for you? Honestly, it's stupid because you have to get Paramount Plus, and who's investing in Paramount Plus, right? So who's investing in Paramount Plus, and also, why do they even create that? Anyway, you get. If you get Paramount Plus, you get the most immaculate show ever made in comedy, Nathan for You, man. It's such a good show, bro. It's like it's like a curb your enthusiasm for uh 
politics, man. He's like, is he like consultant? Like, what is he? It's beautiful, bro. It's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, bro, my computer keeps freezing. It doesn't matter. The phone's recording it, so it doesn't even matter, bro. Whatever. Oh, I'm so tired. I need water. Water, water, water. Yeah, so, um, yeah, bro. Um, yeah. Well, um, I don't talk about video games on this channel that much because it's fucking, that's a loser shit. Um, but Resident Evil 4 dropped, right? The remake dropped. And, uh, and I'm not a, I wouldn't call myself an anime guy. People always say, oh, you look like an anime guy. What's that mean? How do you look like you watch anime? Because it's popular. There, I've tried some animes. I tried Hunter x Hunter. I tried to watch One Punch Man. I'm not into it, bro. I'm not into it. I think it's because when I was a kid, I actually wasn't allowed to watch like Dragon Ball Z and stuff. My dad would call it the spirit. That's the spirit of evil. It's the spirit of evil to watch that. So I didn't watch it. Just like how he called SpongeBob the spirit of stupidity. And is he wrong? It's kind of stupid, right? People, people, re like SpongeBob is so renowned in the in the in people's childhood. And I'm like, that's great. That's great. I'm glad you have a cartoon you love, and it was renowned for that. Um, but uh. You know, like, it is pretty dumb, and that's fine. Maybe maybe he saved my life by not letting me watch it, you know? Which is pretty nice. But, um... All, all, animes have never been my thing, you know? And I... Japanese stuff was, like, not really my my thing. They're, they're weird. They're, they're a little pervy, so I'm kind of good off that. No pervy shit. But also... Uh, the games were always so, you know what I hated most? Cause animes, animes are like, uh, animes, especially when it was on like Toonami and like Cartoon Network late at night, I would always like jump into an anime, like in the middle of the season, like in the middle of the season. I'm like, what the, what's going on? And I just see people jumping around like, Whoa, yeah, yeah, ah. and I'm like, what? What's happening? And I was like, eh, this ain't for me. I'm good. Um, and just the fact that they, um, that I'm jumping in on the middle, I'm like, I can't even get into it because it's on TV and there's no, there was no technology for me to, uh, to be like, uh, oh, what the fuck? I left my whole SIM card out of my phone. What the fuck? That's why I'm not getting no messages. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. How could I do this? Anyway. Um, yeah, but there's no... Uh, sorry. Just wait. Just, just you know. Just got to look. Just got to make sure. Just got to make sure they're still coming, you know? Um, the fact that I have to uh, just... What am I saying? I messed up. What am I saying? The fact that I jumped in on in the cartoon right in the middle and I don't know what's going on is the reason why I've never been to animes. And uh, they just look, like, ridiculous, you know? They look ridiculous. There was one, per there was one person... There was a person at my job that was like, oh, wait, I'm unemployed, sorry. Um, there was a person that I met somewhere in some work area that, uh, you know, um, that, that, said, that said, oh, Parasite seems like a weird movie. And I was like, is it because it's Asian? And she was like, yeah, bro, Asians are so weird. <laughs> You're a dummy. You're a dummy. You don't try anything out, bro. I don't judge nothing till I try it out. Unless it's dicks, because I ain't gay, so I don't try no dicks out. But, um... <laughs> but I, 
I never knock anything because of like it looks weird, you know? Unless it really looks weird where it's like, oh, cannibalism. This one's a cannibalism show. And I'm like, um, maybe you should, maybe I won't watch that, you know? But Mo- Blue Monkey People Avatar? I'll try it out, bro. It seems weird, but it has. What's the premise? You got to protect the tree? Okay. Really basic. Let's see what, let's see how he does it though. And it was immaculate. Now I'm just using immaculate because of that movie. Immaculate room. Everything's immaculate. Anyway, um, yeah, so I never got into Japanese stuff because I could never get into it because to, because TV didn't have, we didn't have on-demand TV yet. So I was just like, ah, I'm not going to watch that because it's, I'm coming in the middle, I'm coming into it in the middle of it, so I don't even care. But, um, Resident Evil 4 drops, and there was something in me that was like, why do, why do I want this game? Like, why is it? Because everybody talked about it. I remember the commercials when it was coming out. And I remember when. I remember um, people just around me are just like, oh, my God, it was such a good game. This is my childhood. This is everything I love, everything I dream of. This is what I love. They're remaking it for my for me, just for me. And I'm like, OK, but I don't have. Every every guy, bro, every guy, except except, you know, if they're brolic, if they're like super brolic, they never played video games. They probably if they're super brolic, they played like old video games like fucking Mar- Super Mario one or whatever, you know, but guys, you know, with that lack muscle that, you know, they're kind of fat or they're so skinny, they're cr- crazy skinny. They'll tell you, hey, man, hey, man, like. This game right here, this you see this game right here? That was my childhood, man. That was my life as a child. This, this is what I lived for. And for me, that was Uncharted. Uncharted by Naughty Dog. Uh, mostly everything by Naughty Dog, yeah. Everything by Naughty Dog, like Crash Bandicoot, uh, Uncharted, The Last of Us. Just my childhood. Just so ready, so ready for the game, you know? It's, they just make immaculate games. Everything, everybody's just making immaculate games nowadays, bro. It's crazy. Resident Evil 7 and 8 was just um, masterpieces. It was crazy. But Resident Evil 4 is coming out. Never been in the Japanese games. And I'm like, uh, you know, whatever. I'll cop it, whatever. And the game is absolutely amazing. I see why children love... Why children, my, my children, why people my age were like, this is my, this is my era. This is, this is beautiful. You know what? You know what? What can games tell, tell you about people's personality? What games they play, you know? You can tell people's personality by what games they play. Hey, what personality, what personality do you have if you play 2K all the time? You're fucking lazy and don't want to play basketball? 2K, bro. NBA 2K. What are you doing? What are you doing? Madden. Madden. What year is it? Madden 2023. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go outside. Why are you playing football inside? Go outside. NHL 23. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go outside. Have fun. You're playing hockey inside in your room eating chips? No. You play video games are for you to be somebody you're not. You can you can be you can be a basketball player. You're just inside eating too much. You can be a football player. You're just inside eating too much. Get outside and get active. And then get real games like fucking Resident Evil or Uncharted, things where you can't be you can be someone else and not get hurt. And that's the problem with the world these days. Nobody wants to get hurt. Nobody wants to fail. And that's why we're, you know, that's why video games are actually kind of terrible, actually. So, you know, don't play video games, but Resident Evil was fire. (laughs) Resident Evil is immaculate. Resident Evil 4 is just, it's such a good game, man. And I've never been into Japanese games, but Capcom really, like, I, I slept on Capcom because they had, like, they have, like, Marvel marvel versus capcom and stuff like that and i'm like okay why um 
why do you do that? Like, why, why, you know, it's just like such basic graphics and stuff. And I'm like, oh, this is, when I think of that, I think of, I think of Marvel versus Capcom when I think of Capcom. Cause I'm like, oh, it's flat, flat images doing jumps and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. But Capcom really, like, they really are doing real stuff out here, man. They're really making good games and, and really putting some money into their stuff, man. Resident Evil 4 is a great game. And from the timeline, we are from the from the timeline we've seen two, three, and now four is is made now, you know? So obviously next they're gonna remake five, right? So my computer's being stupid, so I gotta look it up on my phone. And I don't I don't like having my phone or using my phone during pods, you know, because there's too much stuff to get distracted by. So Resident Evil 5, they're likely going to remake, right? 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 So, Resident Evil 5, the plot is stationed in Africa. Okay. Before I even read the article, guess what the article is about. Just guess what it's about. Just take a minute, take a minute, take a breather, and just think with your head for one second and think, hmm, what is, what is, uh, what, it's okay, it's in Africa. It's stationed in Africa. What do you think they're going to talk about? Let's see. Hmm. A okay, let's see. A- um black black people b uh the virus you know the vi like the virus that's plaguing everybody or c all the above and if you've learned anything from school uh it always pick all of the above cuz you have a good chance that it might be all of the above yes uh they're talking about black people but in 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 a sense where it's like oh there's black people that means it's racist, right? Oh, they're, they're shooting black people. That means it's racist, right? <laughs> There's black people in it. It must be racist. Shut the fuck up. Take, take 14 poles to the face, bro. If you see black people in something, if you see black people in something, it's not fucking racist, okay? If they say fuck black people in it, then it's racist. Nothing's racist unless you say F the race. Enough of this hidden racism. Think about racism. Racism's in the air and you could sniff it. You could snort the racism and get high off it. No. We're not doing this, bro. We're going to remake the game the same way. We're going to make it the same way. Put all the black people in it. We're going to shoot the black. We're going to shoot whoever in it, okay? We're going to shoot whoever comes my way. You know why? Because they have the virus in them. And if they have the virus, they need to die. Okay? And it just happens. Oh, wait. You're in Africa? What the fuck? You're in Africa? What the actual? Oh, my. You're in Africa? What fucking race is in Africa? Let's do another ABC. White people. Black people. Uh, aboriginals. Or all the above. And if you learn from school, it's all the above. There wasn't only just black people in it. And the co his co-helper, who was so helpful that I've seen, I don't know, I've never played it, I don't know, was so helpful, you hit a button, she helps you, whatever. She was so helpful, and she's black too, because she's an a, a African native, which is great. And also, fake. It's fake, bro. It's fake. Just like this stupid digital blackface thing. Hey, bud, shut the fuck up. You have no journalism's dead. You have nothing to talk about anymore. There's nothing else to talk about. We've reached peak talk about. There's nothing else to talk about. So you got to talk about, oh, there's black people in a game. So uh, it must be racist. Hey, man, <laughs> bye. I'll catch you.
Once, honestly, it's at the point. Sadly, it's at the point where if if there's racism in the um, if there's racism in the the thing, if there's racism in the not racism. What the hell am I saying? If there's black people in anything, or if I hear if I hear racism, like if, if I hear the word racism, I'm like, okay, bud. <laughs> No, no, it's it's a psyop. It's a psyop, which is bad because, uh, because like it, you, you we should all be a keen to when someone's purporting bad ideas. You know, if someone says, "Oh, fuck all black people," that's a bad idea. But when you say, hey, man, this is has, it has to be linked to racism. Hey, let's look at the roots of this. It could be linked to racism. Hey, bad, bye. Hey, it could be something else. It's something else. Hey, if your first thought is racism, it's something else. So the game, so these things are happening uh, in real time and, and people are stupid. Okay, so well, let's read this. Let's read this dumb article that we know is dumb. But we're going to give it airtime, you know? Resident Evil's Evil loves a good remake. And we love a good Resident Evil remake now because, you know, it's a pretty good game, man. I, I slept on Capcom because I thought of them as flat paper people, but not anymore, man. They're really putting their, they're really putting their, really putting their foot in their games, if you know what I mean. Capcom has been trading in reimaginings of their survival horror series since 2002 when the beloved original was brought back to life on the Nintendo GameCube. It's a stellar remake, and the definitive version of a game is classic. The same, the same can be said for 2019's Resident Evil 2, which I also own, which is also immaculate. Um, it's a stellar remake and a definitive version... Oh, I read the same thing. Which... Many now consider the best in the series since it exploded onto the scene four years ago. Twenty nine, I can't read. Three wasn't wasn't great, but it still put a fun. Uh, it still, but I still had fun. Why the what, 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 rewind? But I still had fun with its new spin on things. Three wasn't great. It was like, but three was like a like a hash of both. And it was on PS1. What can you really do? Um, now it's time. It's Resident, 4, Resident Evil 4's time. A game so nice they remastered it thrice. And now the remake treatment is set to introduce this banger to a new generation. Which is absolute facts, bro. This thing is immaculate in every right. Resident Evil 4 no longer sexualizes its women as a, is a good thing. That's great. Don't sexualize the woman. But, you know, shut the fuck up about racism. Resident Evil 4, 5 is the next logical step, given it's um, the most ir iterial, it, it, Wow, that word is crazy, man. I need to learn that word. Let's define this word. Define. Yo, technology is crazy. Okay. I hit the define button. Why well, didn't define? Define. Let's see. Iterative. Knew that was ir. ir hmm. How do you say it? Iterative. I knew it was iterate. Iterative. 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 I knew it was iterative, but I didn't know how to say it for some reason. Anyway, um, let's go back. Oh, you fucking! I got rid of it. Nice. I got rid of it. Yes, I got rid of it. I love that. I love that so much. Resident Evil 5 is the next logical step given it's it's a, a mostly iterative sequel with many of the same gameplay gameplay mechanics and set pieces. It also also has mandatory co-op even if you're playing alone, removing the little horror was left by giving your you characters with twice the firepower. Yeah, they were way too helpful from what I've seen. Resident Evil 4 influenced Game of War, Gears of War, and in turn, Resident Evil 5 looks like it looked at Gears of War and decided it needed a slice of that gray, edgy, bloated pie. 
it's not a bad game, but I I'd, I'd struggle to describe it as anything more than a pale imitation. Ish. The game's legacy is also internally tainted by its racism. That's a bold statement. That is a bold statement, but you know, let's uh let's unpack that as one would say. Let's okay, let, when you you talk to your therapist, I think Resident Evil has uh I think Resident Evil 5's legacy is almost internally tainted by its racism. Um and your therapist would be like, "Okay, all right, I hear you. I hear you. Let's let's unpack that. Intentionally or not, it's there." <clears throat> I don't remember Resident Evil 5 ever saying, "Yo, fuck black people." When he was shooting at him, "Fuck black people." There's a parasite in him, and guess what? No black people was hurt in the making of this video game, okay? But let's see, maybe they have a good point. <laughs> maybe they have a great point that will change my mind on the matter. Okay. Um, I was still in primary school when Resident Evil 5 was first unveiled. So my understanding of racism and historical roles it plays in global social political culture was fairly lacking. Hey, guess what? In 2000, whatever the fuck you were in, in your primary school... It was lacking for all of us too. You know why? Cause we, cause shut the fuck up. Nobody, nobody gave a shit. It was all about life. And guess what? Resident Evil Five was stationed. It was was uh, was set in Africa. We were like, okay, there's black people in Africa. That's what we hear. Oh wow, the world looks decrepit. That's that's what we hear. It's decrepit over there. Damn, talking too much. Um, which is, you know, we shouldn't think that way because there's great parts of Africa. There's the rich one. What's the rich country? Like Wakanda. Wakanda's a rich country. They have vibranium and all that. Um, so my understanding of racism and the historical role it plays in global, social, political culture was fairly lacking. I just wanted to murder zombies with my friends, as do we all. We don't think, oh, we're murdering the black person. We're murdering the killer, the villainous killing black black zombie, which is fine. And also fake, you know, because no zombies yet, maybe. Who knows? I was just want I just wanted to murder zombies with my friends, and it didn't matter what color they were. They were they were or what country I happened I happened to be in. The infection must be cleansed. And not putting my upgraded shotgun to use would be a tragic waste. But even back then, there was something uneasy about how the game depicted Africa. And the awkward marketing, eager to focus on a white man waltzing into a... Oh, shut the fuck up! So that white guy is Chris Redfield, okay? He's already... He's already in the game. He was already in the game, bud. This was a continuation of his story from one. Was one Chris Redfield, I think? So it wasn't like, oh, man, it's, we got this new white guy, and this white guy's ready to, ready to kill. There was a, it was a continuation of what he did in his story. Am I done with this? It's pissing me off. It's from 2005, by the way. Everybody was living their own fucking lives, worried about making money and living their life. In 2005, I didn't even think of anything. I didn't care about anything. Now, now everything. Oh, racist this, racist that, racist that. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. No. You have nothing else to do. You have, you're just thinking in your head, bro. You're just some journalist that fucking just wants to make a, a pre pressing story. And I just gave you some clicks because I pressed on that website and you got money for it. Anyway. Enough of you, man. Enough of you. <sighs> right, maybe I should keep going. I exit out of it. Okay, let's just finish... Let's just finish what she's, what she, her final thought. What's her thought? Um, and awkward marketing eager to focus on a white man waltzing into 
an impoverished town only to murder its inhabitants. The inhabitants wanted to eat people. The reveal trailer that dropped in 2005 was deliberately vague description of where it takes place, what game or what game is even what the game is even about. Yeah, because who would want to spoil their own game? The, you know, with these journalists nowadays, they're like excluding like marketing tactics rather than like trying to like that's a marketing tactic. You're not supposed to really say what the game's about. You're supposed to build hype. And you're you're supposed to you're supposed to lead people on but you know not not tell them really what it's about to build up hype to be like oh wow wait hold on hold on another sequel which i would be pissed about but you know other people would be happy about it like oh my god hold on hold on we got another game coming out that's a marketing tactic bro they're just just willfully dense in order to make a story you know And she knows the name of him. Anyway, Chris Redfield is back, this time without his bulging muscles. And is seen walking the quiet streets of Shanti Town un until an unseen horde of infected rushes his position. A gun is drawn before a Biohazard 5 logo splashes onto the screen. At first glance, this trailer is pretty innocent and early early on enough in the game's production that I'm unsure if certain locations and characters were even decided yet. The E3 2007 showing wasn't nearly as lucky with the preview of the game's opening, which without the presence of of your partner Sh Shiva, or Sheva, I think her name is in the game, boils down to, to a hench white dude beating the shit out of hostile African natives. Yeah, bitch, because they're infected. Enough. I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm tired of these people, man. These people being willfully dense, not understanding. It's in Africa. Most people in Africa are black. It's fine, but they're black, okay? Just everything, everything, I just think everything's a goddamn psyop now. Like, if if you talk about black people, you're mad, you know, you talk about, you t try and market yourself as like, oh, a good person or whatever, you, Oh, um, we need to stop racism and racism. Now when I hear racism, I'm like, what's your real motive, bud? What's the real motive? You have some something interior, interior going on? Ul ulterior motive? You have an ulterior motive? Huh? Just guilt. Just white guilt, people. Fuck you, man. Make a game. Make a game. Put all the black people in them. Shoot whoever you want. Put some fucking... Put put some Saudi Arabian... Make... make Honestly, make the main character Saudi Arabian and then him shooting, shooting fucking white people. I don't give a shit. You know why? It's fake. And they're also infected. So it's fake. It's even more fake. They're infected with something that makes you want to eat people. We don't have that yet. Enough, bro. Enough, 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 enough. I'm done with all these stories about racism, bro. Bye. Unless it's actual racism, not this digital blackface, not these stupid things. Enough. We're done with that. We're done. Article done. I read it all. What's Who's the person? Who's the person that wrote it? No, I don't want your newsletter. Tell me who wrote it. Who wrote the article? Jade King. She has 1,064 articles published. Jade King is the is, is lead features editor of The Gamer. Thank you, Jade King, for your glorious contribution to The Gamer. Resident Evil 5 will still be made and I hope the Japanese people don't listen to you and keep the and put do whatever they want. If they want to take the black people out of it and set it somewhere else, okay, go ahead. But also like gives a fuck, bro. It's also less expensive if they just keep the same story and just up the graphics a lot, you know? 
you gotta if you have to make a whole new story if you gotta make a whole new story then you know that that makes it a little more expensive but game companies are smart they're not gonna waste money on dumb shit so they'll do whatever they like and you're not investing any money into that you invest any money in their kickstarter bud no you're not no you're not so they're gonna do as they please and they probably don't do a good job about it um they do need to get rid of that partner thing because that really knocks down the uh, the um, what's his name, the scare tactic, the scare factor, you know. And Resident Evil Four actually isn't scary; it's a little more eerie than scary, which I like. Resident Evil Two fucking just fucking scared the shit out of me. I can, I have to turn it off sometimes because it's so because I I'm I literally about to shit bricks. Anyway, um, yeah, man. Uh, do I have any? I don't have any offensive hour things to do. I f- forgot this one. Uh, yeah. Well, we appreciate you for tuning in. I think I'm done. Uh, I got really heated at that uh, Resident Evil 5 thing. It's just like, stop deeming everything as racist, you know? Makes me angry. Makes me so angry. It's something else, bro. Oh, you think it's race? You think it's linked to racism? It's something else, bro. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Catch you.